Hey, good morning, Simon. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update. Make sure you share it on all your platforms. Hey, if you are joining us for the very first time, maybe you've just recently signed up to receive these updates. Thank you. We are so grateful that you chose to get those and these updates and the text and all that good stuff. So make sure that you share that on your platforms, uh, whatever platforms you have and, and share what's going on at Summit. We don't do a weekly bulletin, uh, you know, the old school bulletin yeah. where we hand them out. So this is kind of our way to communicate. And then what we share on Sunday morning, Jake, who does our offering talks many times, uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, also mentions a couple of things as well. So try to keep it short because I don't want to ruin the mood of the worship time. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, speaking of moods and worship times, moods. we're having a night of worship on October October third. October third. It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be, good. It's gonna be Sunday evening. And I think that's going to be a regular thing. Uh, and so we want you to attend and bring your small group. If you're in a small group, you're doing something on small groups that day as well. Yeah, and, uh, we're going to invite and, I mean, that's what we're going to do for our small group that Sunday yeah. is go to the night of worship as a group. And then we may go get a bite to eat. We like to eat in our small group, Edward. I when like you read the scriptures, I like Edward, I don't know if you ever read the Period. scriptures. It's not just small group. I don't know if you ever read the scriptures, but when you read the scriptures, there was a lot of stuff that happened around food. That's right. A lot of stuff. Ever, that's that's right. It, that is true. Also, on that day, we're going to be uh, dedicating our babies. Uh, we got a list of babies that are, we're going to be dedicating because a lot of you guys uh, have had babies over this last year. COVID. COVID babies. boom. Uh, the COVID boom, uh, like the baby boom of uh, after I wonder World if we're War II. Have another one. I wonder if we have another one. One later. Another World War? No. Oh. A baby boom. You oh. know, it's been eighteen months. And yeah. So anyway. Good. Uh, what else we got going on? So also on that day, October the 3rd, we're going to have our first groups gathering. We want to just explain that. Admit, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. going to do, yeah. Edward. So I got my notes right here. So those of you that could not or did not connect in a group and you came by and you signed up just to kind of gather and get to know people, that, that's we're going to have our first one Sunday, October the 3rd, immediately after the service. I'm going to have some food. Uh, we're going to be getting to know each other. We're going to be identifying future small group leaders. And then we're going to be helping you get connected with other people that come that day. And my goal is to form one to two new small groups out of that. It's going to be so really, they, this really is cool. for people that are not in a small group. Not, you're they're, not in a small they're group. Wanting connect. They're wanting to connect or they're wanting to lead and learn about how to lead a group or whatever. I, I thought you said you're wanting to lead. Not well, leave. some of them may want to leave. I don't know, Edward. I, mean, I hope you don't. Uh, but you me never too, know. Me so too. that's going to be Sunday, October 3rd. We're going to do that on the first Sunday uh, of every month. Uh, contact me, Jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. Make sure you RSVP. I've already sent some emails out. If you're not getting the emails, Edward, I hate to bring this up, but I am. You know how you say you see something in somebody and you own that in yourself? Mm -hmm. I have terrible penmanship. Mm -hmm. Terrible penmanship. True. That's true. All right. Some of the sign-up sheets on that, some of the emails got kicked back to me. So I don't know if I couldn't read your handwriting or if you're like me. So if you, if you did not get one of those emails, reach out to me because I do not want you to fall through the cracks. I want to get you connected. Jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. And then the Women Facing Cancer Together Ministry is going to have group. their first meeting this Sunday yep. after church. If you're a woman and you are fighting cancer right now or you've, you're in remission or wherever you are on that journey, we've got a group of ladies that this is their ministry to minister to you. And, and Sherry Sims and Sharon Claxton, I know I'm forgetting some folks, there's, there's a group of them. If you're interested in that, reach out to me. I will, I will contact you. Uh, I will connect you with Sherry Sims. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be a cool deal. That's and good. then Kid Venture Kids are going to be selling books and t-shirts. We have a ton of old books and Bible study books and t-shirts over the years, kind of like this. You know, when we'd go to Reach Camp or we'd go to Kid Venture Live, we'd just have a lot, lot of leftover t-shirts. They're going to be selling those as a fundraiser and all the money goes to the kids. Yeah, and the other fundraiser we got coming up uh, next month, is that right? October the 9th October is the, the 9th. golf tournament. Man, mm -hmm. I don't remember what you preached Sunday because I got caught up. Joe Fields, one of our elders, shared a fascinating Christology 
kind of thing that was happening in the Old Testament. I told you that if you read the New Testament and you dissect the Greek and Hebrew, you find out that Jesus and his disciples actually played golf. Well, what Joe was able to do is go back to the Old Testament and see the Christology. They were doing golf even in the Old Testament. When God sent the manna for the Israelites to eat and they didn't want the manna anymore, he sent them birdies. It blew my mind. And I'm just so thankful for our eldership that dives into the scriptures and can pull this stuff out. And so we're going to be making some birdies on October the 9th. We need four man teams to sign up to play four in this person. scramble. Four person. Four women, person. Women I'm sorry. Too. Four yeah. person. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, we've got a woman on my team, Lacey Marshall. She's going to be on my team, me and Andrew's team. Uh, sign up. We need to raise a lot of money to send our students to camp next summer. We're also looking for door prizes too. So if you have like a brand new Yeti, you want to donate to the student Yeah, it doesn't have to be a or, door. It can be uh, anything. Yeah, I mean, so we're going to be doing raffling off and that kind of stuff. So if you've got some stuff or you want to just go get some, mm -hmm. uh, buy like three Yetis. You yeah. know, like the big 50 quart body yep. cooler Yetis. They're like $500. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, you can connect with David or Jake on those um, door prizes because that'll be that'll be kind of cool to yeah. give that stuff away. There's so. a lot of stuff happening, guys. Yeah, there really is. A lot of stuff happening. We're really excited about this Sunday as we continue our series on the people that Jesus complimented. Oh, that's right. That's Remember what that? you Remember on. that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so if you've missed those, go back and watch those. You can watch them on YouTube. You can watch them on Facebook. You can catch up with those and keep up what's going on and what we're talking about and what we're teaching. I uh, won't be any golf analogies this week. Uh, so you'll have to really pay attention, Jake, um, this week. So uh, make sure you're here this Sunday. At 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, share this. Hey, and invite somebody to come with you. Just just invite them to come with you, hang out. Uh, it, it, it'll be a great Sunday this Sunday. You got anything else, bro? Man, not what, today. What happened to your eye? Did yeah. You, did you and Ashley get in a fight? And no. She the snot out so of you? What I had a 9 a.m. phone conference with a very important person that we're going to be bringing in in January to do some leadership training with our small group leaders. And I was running late for that, and I still haven't shaved. So I only shave right here and right here. Okay, and so I'm just like, man, I gotta hurry up and get to this meeting. <laughs> and I cut myself right there. It happens. It's a good story. It happens. It's a good story. I survived though. Uh, I appreciate all the prayers and support. Actually, just knocked the snot thoughts out and of prayers really that went happened. out for me yesterday it, as I was bleeding profusely down my probably face. Probably Ashley knocked the snot out of you. Mm. You, need, you need to learn to, you know, respond better and that kind of stuff. Was that something you preached on? Uh, no. That I missed? No. Oh. Summit, we love you. Hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you Sunday at 10 o'clock.